I think for my next review, well, okay. Try one more time. Okay, I may have been a little melodramatic last review, but the news reports were telling us that Armageddon was coming down on us. Obviously, I'm still alive here. Um, the room I'm in may look like a hurricane hit it because half of this is the kids' playroom. But um, Oh, also, uh, I think I'm going to try something different with my next review. I'm actually going to connect my microphone directly into a breakout box on my camera because, well, I actually shot this review once and lo and behold, audition crapped out at four minutes, 12 seconds, whatever it was. <sighs> It's so hard to make this all sound organic a second time. A little peek behind the curtain there, but eh, let's get to the beer, which is already open. Sarasota, Florida, Big Top Brewing. Big surprise there. Pumpkin Stiltskin, Pumpkin Ale. I love the artwork on this can, and I know it's just your run-of-the-mill, like, evil jack-o'-lantern, but I think it's kind of cool. I, I, I dig that kind of pumpkin ale art on, um, on beers. A lot of the pumpkin beers, they don't... I don't know, they don't really go crazy with the, the Halloween themed art, and I wonder why that is. They go orange, and that's about it. Eh. Um, this one's 8.9% ABV, which would almost makes me, it would make me think that it would range almost towards Imperial Ale territory. Um, but you'd expect this one to maybe be a little bit heavier, maybe a little bit boozier because of that. So check this out. Um, when it was freshly poured, there was not a lot of head on it, so you can still tell that there. Um, but beautiful color on this one. And very nice aroma off of it. In addition to the regular pumpkin spices that you're getting, you know, that cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the pumpkin, obviously. I'm getting kind of like a, like a caramelly aroma off of it, too, which is kind of nice. I mean, um, caramel apples in the fall. Um... Damn, um, I know there was, um, shit. I'm thinking of, of a, a caramel beer and not, not, um, damn. I oh, know it's not, 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 not a Southern tier one. Wow, I'm fucking rambling, aren't I? Um, I know I've had some caramel styled beers that have been very good. And I like that aroma. I like that flavor in it. So let's see if we get some caramel in the taste too. Ooh. Okay, that packs a punch on the first sip. Um, not a boozy punch. 8.9% ABV, you might expect a little bit more of a boozy punch, but it has that heft to it that you might get from like a, a Belgian dark ale or something like that, where it's not necessarily a boozy burn, but it feels heavier. Um, it doesn't feel thin or anything. It, it, it's got some weight to it. Um, the pumpkin really hits at first. And then the spices come up on the back end. Uh, and the spices kind of linger on the tongue after that, which is kind of nice, kind of nice and warming. N again, not boozy warming, but the spice warming. Very, very nice. And the aroma just really, really contributes to it. There are some pumpkin beers where taste is fine, but the aroma is lacking and that's that's always a nice part of the experience. It's not 100% necessary, especially if you're just run-of-the-mill beer drinker. You're not sniffing your beers. I will admit, I have a tendency to, you know, take a sniff of the beer before I drink it. It, you know, it, I think it enhances it somewhat, but it's not necessary. I'm not, I'm not doing that with PBR, of course. Um, and I'll get into a little bit with uh, PBR before the end of this review. Going into uh, some of my beer budget. Which, th this this beer actually kind of hurt a little bit because it's $7.99 for a four-pack. It's not awful, but for my beer budget, I really wanted to try this, though, because I did not get to try it last year when I moved down here. Let me have one more sip. That is, that is just a really solid pumpkin ale. There's not much else I can say about it. It's just very, very solid. The flavors are balanced. If you like pumpkin beers that's a good one for you. So, um, finish that off. Big Top Brewing, Pumpkin Stilt Skin, 8.9% ABV. Love the can art. So I was talking about my um, beer budget, and um, last month, September, was the first month of my beer budget. I had apparently been spending like 
at least 200 bucks a month on beer. Um, we never really calculated it, but that's, excuse me, that's a bit much for me to be spending when we're trying to save money and things like that. So um, I've been kind of knocked down to $75 a month, which means I'm looking for sales. I'm padding my regular craft drinking with PBR. There's the mention of PBR there. I can get an 18 pack of that on sale for like 11, 12 bucks. So it helps. I'm fine with PBR. I like it better than you know a Bud Light or anything like that. And it's cheaper too. So I, I can't complain too much about that. Um, although last month, the um, $75, I, I did not have any beer for the last week of the month. So um, I was a little bit cranky that week. Um, didn't help that I had pink eye too, but. Um, so if anybody sees, you know, kindness in their heart to, I don't know, donate some beer to me, um, I would very much appreciate that. I'm not telling you you have to, but it'd be nice. But. If you enjoy these reviews and there's, there's a beer you'd really like to see my reaction to, it, it, hit me up in a message on Twitter or Facebook or whatever and um, see if we can work something out with that. Um, because of the whole budget thing, I'm not able to you know spend $12.99 as frequently on a bomber of something that looks interesting to me. So. I have a feeling I'm going to be um, shifting these, not complete hiatus, but uh, every other Saturday. So next review you're going to see is in a couple weeks. Um, I actually have a couple beers in um, my fridge right now that I will probably do reviews for. Um, I'm recording this on October 3rd and I only have $27 left in my uh, monthly budget. So that kind of tells you anything. Ugh, ugh. And I've, I've been trying, trying to go with hard liquor and I just can't, I just can't. I, I try and be a whiskey drinker. I can't do it. it. It does the job. I'm just not really enjoying it like I do with beer. So, um, but every other Saturday for now, I should be getting a raise at work within the coming months, which may help my beer budget. But again, anybody that wants to send stuff my way, I am not going to reject donations. I will love that. I'm not begging. It may sound like I'm begging. I'm not begging. But I would love you to send me beer. Especially beer that I can't get locally. But you don't have to. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway. So, I guess, I think, I think that's everything. I think that's everything, yeah. I probably should have eaten more today, considering I'm drinking an 8.9% beer right now. Okay. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks for the next review.